So the goal here in this particular uh, application is to make legged robots walk any kind of terrain. Um, previously, we have had shown results on legged robots which were blind and they could walk any kind of terrain from just their own body sensing. But if you truly want legged robots to walk in any kind of scenario, any kind of setting, walk upstairs, walk downstairs, walk over rocks, a blind policy cannot do that and the robot has to make use of vision and what, what is in front of it. And this is what this project is about. So this uses vision directly as input to output command to the motors of the robot. And what is nice about this is that vision and control both are integrated together as a single system. There is no separate vision part making plans and map and then yeah. robot part making walk over those plan. It's a single system which takes direct camera images input, captures that and outputs motors command. There is no mapping or planning involved in that process. This allows the system to be very robust in the real world. Like if it slips on stairs, it can recover and walk up. Uh, it can go to unseen scenarios and adapt to those settings. Now, why does this vision as a first class citizen is a nice thing? Because if you were to make, follow the classical pipeline, make maps and plans using vision, then you will always have some kind of error in making map. Like your camera may vibrate as robot is walking, things may uh, fall around and your map will be noisy. But here we directly use the camera image. So robot has the freedom to really go out of the box and, uh, and adapt with motors from a raw sensory uh, input. So it's, and the, this motivation here is, uh, it's very biologically inspired in the sense that vision and control, even in humans as well as other animals is very tightly covered. Like it's very hard to balance yourself on a single leg if you close your eyes. Otherwise it's trivial. But if you close your eyes, it becomes very hard to balance yourself on a single leg, which seems uh, very confusing because standing does not even require any vision. It's because vision helps you in so many ways we do not even realize that uh, in our body. And this is what this robot is doing. Here vision and control both are tightly coupled into a single system. What makes this application very nice is that this is a very small robot. It's very safe. It's meant to be put in homes and help people. So it's a very safe and small robot. But then the problem with small robots is that any normal size stair or any obstacle that is normal for humans, that becomes like a very high obstacle for this small robot because the height of the robot at a normal terrain is like 28 centimeter. The stairs in your home are like 20 centimeter, maybe slightly higher, so like 24. So you are already reaching 80% of the height of the robot. What you can call stair climbing for humans is actually obstacle climbing for this robot, like when human climb hurdles. Since the robot is learning or seeing only from egocentric vision, if you notice it climbing over obstacles, its real legs do not actually see the present picture. They have to remember from their memory as to how to move the rear leg. If you go to YouTube and find cat videos over walking obstacles, you will realize that cats look in the front and their rear legs move as if the rear legs have a camera in them. It is because you can remember from memory how to move your legs despite the fact you are a few seconds ahead of them. This is what the same robot does. There is no map, no planning. What it does, it remembers the terrain from the memory as to how to move its rear leg. So in that sense, it's much more closer to this biological way of thinking about control.